Hello and welcome back friends. Today I am here with your new mockup. Today our object is a bathroom. Previously we have done many such mockups with different textures and types. So this is one of them. So without further ado let's begin. In the beginning as you all know first we will take the paint tool and then we will select all the points around the whole object but before that press control plus and zoom in so that it's easier for you to see all the linings once you are done take the add anchor point tool and select the rest of the curves that were not selected by the pen tool so when you select with the pen tool often you miss out a lot of curves and um, it is necessary to take them in with the add anchor point tool we have done this previously you know so if you observe closely you won't have any problem Now we'll select the background layer and press control G. So now you can see the whole object that we have has been cut out from the background. Now after that, you have to take the paint tool again and select the rope around the vest that you have in your bathrobe because that would be a little different from the whole bathrobe so that needs to be selected separately. And in the same process by pen tool you'll select the whole rope and then with the add anchor point tool you will select the curves once you're done with that you can move forward to the next steps but before that make sure you do a very fine tuning once you're done now the previously selected bathrobe layer it, as you can see this one is that one and you will press control and select the very corner part of this and then you'll press control j and you'll see the whole thing will be cut out separately so basically what we are trying to do is select all the separate parts that will have a little difference we are selecting them separately making them absolutely away from each other so it's easy for us to edit and uh, do the mock-up all right so after that we will basically take the paint tool again and select the inner part of the bathroom the inner portion that is visible towards the neck we will select that part so basically as you do it with the paint tool and then the anchor point tool just follow the lead then again similarly pressing on that layer and selecting that part by placing control and then pressing control j would detach the whole part from the main image and once you're done with that zoom out of the picture and then 
take a rectangle tool and place it right on top of the bathrobe now we are working on just the body part of the bathrobe and as you have placed the rectangle properly change the color now as you can see there are too many layers so all the shapes that we had created we will bind them in a group all right we'll put them in a group and then we will name them as object id after that bring the rectangle layer that we have just created at the very top and then convert it to smart object and then decrease the opacity so that it's easier for you to see and work on it Then we will select the smart object and by pressing Ctrl select the layer 1 which is basically the shape of the bathroom. Alright and once you do that we will see the smart object has taken the uh, out shape of the rope and then we will mask it out. Alright after that we will simply select the neck portion and the rope portion because as you can see here it's like all uh, red because I have chosen the color red and that's not looking very realistic. So we'll simply take that and uh, then we'll go to the brush tool and change the color to black because as you know with white we repaint it and with black we erase it okay so we'll take the black and then we will separate that out as you can see in the first time it was not happening because the other color was in white so nothing was happening so as soon as you change the color in black you'll see you will be able to remove the color once you're done with the separation you can um Press Ctrl T and they select it and later on on the outer layer you can erase that parts also alright so once you are satisfied with your neat work you can move forward and after you are done with the inner part now moving on to the rope part similarly you will press Ctrl and the rope shape then you will go to the brush tool mask out and then we will just selecting the black color, wipe it off. Now after that, we'll simply select the rope and then we will give it a solid color by pressing control. And then this is why you can change the color as you like it. All right. After you're done with that, we'll simply select the three cutout portions that we have done and then we will delete all those because we don't need them anymore and after that we will press ctrl shift and we'll select both the masked layers and then we will press ctrl j and cut out those parts and in that layer we will convert it to linear burn from normal and then we will rename it as shadow so as you can see the whole uh, texture the whole color has been changed so now by pressing ctrl j again it will make a copy of the shadow layer and then again convert it to linear dodge add from linear board and name it as midtone and then by pressing ctrl l you can go to levels and then adjust the levels according to your preference See, here you'll have to see which texture is uh, more suitable and which shade is uh, more uh, realistic on your object. Now, again, we'll make another copy of this layer and then we'll convert it to screen and then rename it as light. Again, by pressing Ctrl L, you can see, go to levels and adjust it according to your preferences. You can stop whenever you are satisfied. And for the reference, you can obviously see in mind. The goal is to make it look realistic, as realistic as possible. All right. You can change any layer, any levels. Uh, for the shadow, I am darkening it a little bit more. Now we'll open the smart object by double clicking it. And then we'll place a pattern. See, you can keep it uh, with the solid color if you like it. But here I'm choosing a pattern because this way I can show you the both ways with uh, the pattern and without the pattern. 
so it's easier for uh, all of you to understand you can select your own pattern and place it on your smart object however you like it once you are done with the pattern then you save the image and it will automatically be updated on your main image now according to your pattern you can change the color of the rope so that it's easier for you you know and it matches now for giving the background some color you go to the lower part the last layer the background layer and then you just choose any solid color you want. Now we will go to the object ID and then by pressing control, we will select the whole bathrobe that we had selected, the whole shape. Remember in the very beginning, that part. We will select that part and then we will go to the solid color layer and then we will mask that. And then we will bring the black color in the foreground. Okay. And after that, press control backspace from the keyboard. Then uh, change the layer from normal mode to linear mode so that there is a nice uh, you know like burning effect and it's a shadowy effect that you can give to your background also that's it for today hopefully you all liked it and thank you for joining in we'll meet you very soon with the next mock-up thank you for watching oh.